Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of our Patreon Game Day campaign. Don't mind me, I'm just a little bit frozen on this recording right now, but there we go, I should be back. Um, in uh, this episode, we are going on to the Doom of Etsley, the temple that's just a bucket of fun. Uh, for reference, uh, in our exploration deck, because we are not playing the Return To, uh, including five single-sided uh, ancient locations, we also have an Ill Omen, a Deep Dark, a Final Mistake, an Entombed, and a Crypt Chill. Our agenda. Despite Ishtaka's warnings, you've entered the ruins of the temple in search of ancient knowledge and artifacts. This agenda gets plus one player Doom Threshold. <clears throat> and when this agenda advances, we do not remove Doom from each location in play. After your hellish journey through the jungle, the quiet solitude of the temple runes sows paranoia in your mind. Serpent eyes glare at you from the darkness. Every drop of water and fallen pebble causes you to whirl about in search of danger, but the real danger is yet to come. As an action, we can explore to draw the top card of the exploration deck and follow the exploration rules. Rhino, thank you so much for the good luck going before, uh, and thank you for uh, popping by still as the alternate. It's, it's good to even have your moral support as we are about to enter this hellish temple. All right, and we will resolve our mulligans. I think we really want the Peak Cleaver, because we can actually kill things this time. And I think the Derringer... Like, keeping the Derringer is good because we can, like, shoot and kill with it. It's probably the correct choice to keep it. Ooh, baby! Let's go! Now we just need a drawing thing, and we're, we're in business. Yeah, and Leo did not draw a weapon, so that's going to be a little interesting to start. That's okay, you're not really our... You're like our flex, so you can fight... A little bit, but it's mostly my job in theory. In theory. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> uh, also for uh, items, for supplies, you have the torches, which is relevant in our location. Check your supplies. If you have torches, look at the top two cards of the exploration deck. Discard each treachery looked at by this effect. And then shuffle the exploration deck. Um, if it's cool with you guys, I'm going to go because my first turn is really easy. Uh, just a sec, please. Sure, sure, of course. My first turn action is to resign. Let's get out of here. <laughs> this temple is scary. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to gain a resource, and then I'm going to play this Pete Sylvester and these track shoes. And that's me. <laughs> nice and simple. I will also have a pretty quick turn. Sure, go for it. I'm going to play um, Safeguard. Nice. I'm going to play Fallen Mirror. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I figured since I have some trauma. Yeah. <clears throat> well, <laughs> oh. not do that. Shuffle I, my deck. There I we wish go. it worked <laughs> like that. That'd be sick. <laughs> um, and then actually, I might just use, go ahead and use this. Sure. Awesome. Heal the two up. That's me. All right, Trish, camera's on you, so you can do your turn. All right. I will play Dr. Milan. Oh, let's go, Dr. Milan. You'll love to see it. <laughs> and I will investigate twice, I guess. Five to two. Beautiful. I got your clue for you. Thank you. And one more. Let's go. That's easy, easy game. <laughs> yeah, dream start here. That's a great, that's a great go. All right, uh, let's go to the upkeep phase, everybody. I think the card is good. All right, we have one doom on the agenda. The threshold is nine, so we have one of nine. And Leo, you are our lead investigator, so you get to go first. Deep Dark. No more than one clue may be discovered from each location by each investigator each round. At the end of the round, discard one copy of Deep Dark from play. What do you got, Trish? Okay. For each point you fail by, test brain three. Either lose an action or take one horror. 
Now, should I commit like a... <clears throat> I unfortunately on my end have nothing I can help you with. I am mostly just here to punch and run. I only know two speeds. One of those is speed and the other one is punch. Does it work if I go one up? Like three on three? Um, it could be. Uh, I guess for the matter is how worried are you about, like how much do you need your actions? Because I suppose even if you go down to one action, like, I mean, I guess it's just tough. It, it could be, if the card's not useful, it could be good to just keep it. Maybe only, if you lose two actions, you can still investigate this turn and then you also get a resource. And being one up does get you past the skulls, but... Yeah, I'm on down now. Yeah, we'll be equal. Yeah. Thank you, Ashro, for the kind words. Wishes uh, Marios some good luck. Am I saying your name right, by the way? Yeah, yeah, you do. Cool. I want to make sure I'm not just butchering it. <laughs> I don't know if the card is uh, worth it. I think it's no, it's very good. Sure, yeah, then uh, just go for it and you might lose some actions here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that makes you feel any better. The card wouldn't have mattered anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you can take uh, either horror actions, your choice there, and then while you're choosing that, I will resolve my card. It's a snake! It's a snake. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I think I will take one horror and lose two actions, eh? Right? Perfect, yeah, I think that sounds pretty sick. All right. Uh, if you have a spare action, um, uh, Theo, it'd be great. Or uh, if you could uh, do the torches too, if you ever have a moment. Oh sure. Um, how many clues are left on just one? Or just is there one. Two left on? Just one. Okay, because I do have seen the crime since you drew that snake, but I don't know if it's worth it. No, I think you and I should kind of like stick together, and maybe we can get a better situation for it. I think that's that's sick though, for the future. Okay, you may. You may go. Okay, so I can go and go first then. If sure, I, go if for it, Leo. Purchase. Yeah. I'm going to play Sled Dog. Yeah, doggy! Because that's why I'm here. <laughs> and then um, I'll, yeah, I'll go and do the torches. So I just look at the top two? Yep. Okay. That's right there. The squid here is minus two in Doom if you fail. Nah, this, it's, it's reveal another token. And if you fail. Okay, so neither of those are treacheries. So do I just shuffle them back? Uh, no, they just get returned to... No, you shuffle. You do shuffle. You do shuffle. Okay. I hate that I put the tokens on there. Sorry about that. Oh, it's all good. We can just add them again in the future. Yeah, if you put them to the side over here, they shouldn't get the tokens on them. Oh, okay, so if I don't place them on the playmat, got gotcha. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. The playmat is what recognizes the clues. All right, I think you have one action left. Well, the dogs were a free action, right? Oh, so, so you have two actions left. Even better. It's boring, but I'm just going to gain two resources. That sounds like another dog to me in the future. Uh, uh, Trish, Sorry, you have one action, so why don't you take that one? Okay, I will investigate then, right? That sounds good, yeah. Sweet. Clue is yours. So you could choose to automatically evade this brood if you want. Um, it'll allow me to play a gun if you do, and then I can kill it next turn. Oh, yeah, so I evade it, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, go for it. Boom. Uh, and then I will gain two resources and play this gun. And then we can go into upkeep, and I'll take this enemy again, because it is my job. Upkeep phase. Woo! Chat, that card's going to be good here. All right, we are at two of nine. Leo, what's your evil card? This is also gone, by the way. I got bot and blood, so I have to either discard an ally I said you control for player, or discard each ally I said for hand. That's not great. Well, it's just going bye-bye. Oh, that, I right, mean, la last time it was a dog and everyone got sad. But this time, Mitch Mitch can get bought in blood. We can say bye to him for a <laughs> bit. Yeah, he's going to let me get my other dog as well, but, you know, it's It is fine. true, yeah. All right, Terran time. <laughs> yeah, chat's even happy. They just say, phew, it's only Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mitch. Oh, 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 wait, did he draw another card from the encounter deck? No, no, he drew, uh, he draw, he drew his first card for the turn. Oh, you drew one too? Uh, yeah, I thought he was done. Uh, yeah, no, no, you're good, you're good, yeah, you're good to resolve yours. So we'll just, I'll just have him finish his test, he's good on All that right, one. I 
you drew this scary snake. All right, I'm being put to the test. And I also drew one of these. So we're gonna test three all here. I have no other choice. Uh, give me two horror. I think I need my actions this turn. Okay, so we have this Serpent of Yoth. Okay. Should I evade him or? Um, you could, but it might be better if Leo and I can handle it. I do have a machete I can play and hack at it. So, yeah, you'll have to engage it, but if you want to, to get the bonus from the thing, because if it's the only enemy yeah. engaged with you. Um, I'm okay with that. I mean, I think getting the machete out is nice, because obviously we need to start killing things. Sure. Okay. I, I can go. Let me play machete. Yeah. Okay. I'll I have go a plan ahead and engage to... it. And I'll go ahead and attack it. So I'm 5 to 3. That's not great. Uh, uh, it's not great. We're on standard. There's only the minus uh, 3 and the 5. And the auto fail, of okay. course. Right. Oh, so one of those? <laughs> one of those. But he doesn't have retaliate yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is me. Cool. Okay. Um, Trish, why don't you go next? Because next you might want to explore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, explore decks over here. And you were looking for the red square or the star. That's what the connectors are. Oh my god, it's the square. <laughs> so sick. <clears throat> Alright, so this location at the end of the round, flip one of the clues on Ancient Hall to its doom side. Any investigator at Ancient Hall may spend three resources to cancel this effect. Now I'm assuming if I use safeguard to move, I still take the attack of opportunity. No, you would not. But if you stay here, I can help you fight this guy. Albeit okay, actually, fair, if fair. no, 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 if you move there, if Trish gets a, a clue, she could evade the guy. But we can yeah. also fight him. I feel pretty confident about fighting him if you want to stay here with me. Okay, that's fine. I'll stay with you. And I figure I'll just so, move out with you. Okay. So I, I automatically move, right? You do have to move, yeah. You move here as part of the explore. I can move you too if you want. If I, I, can I play short up now before I move? No. No, no, you've, you've had the window for that. I think, anyway, because okay. the explore action is resolved. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> All right, you still have two actions left, Trish. All right, I will play Magnifying Glass. Nice. That do be fast. Good. And uh, investigate twice, I guess. Six to three. Trish is good. I have, I have, I have the experience deduction in hand. Oh, so yeah, I, that would be sick. All right, eight to three. Nice. So you get three clues. And a resource. Phenomenal. Okay, and I will investigate again. Yeah, six to three. Minus one. That's awesome. You pretty much are. We're almost at the clues. This is going great. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, right. I am going to... Spend two to play this cheap shot, baby. So I'm going to add my... I'm going to be fighting the guy you're with, by the way. Okay. So I'm going to fight him. I will be attacking at ten to three. three. Seems good. Review another token. We're good. So he's going to take one damage. Okay. I'm going you. to automatically evade him. So I'm going to ping him for one more damage. Okay. Oh, not 12. Not 12. That would be sick. Though. There we go. <laughs> All right. So he's evaded. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attempt to evade this guy that I'm with. We have seven to two. Sweet. Uh, and then I'm going to fire my gun. And who do you think I should put it on? Should I, I, I should put it on the serpent, right? Yeah, yeah I, I think so. Because you could probably kill the brood, and then I could evade the serpent next turn and just kill him with and, that. And finish him off, yep. Yeah. I like that. Uh, do you have any fist icons you can help me with? 
uh, yeah, if I don't even see the crime, it seems like he's he's cleaning up on it. So yeah, I think yeah, because I I'm right now I'm attacking at five. Yeah, which, you get plus one for me. Um, you know what? Maybe keep it because if I miss, I can still just do it next turn, and I don't lose the I don't lose the ammo if I fail. So I think okay. this is fine. That's fair. I do I do yeah know that I think we can probably use that scene of the crime somewhere else. All right, oh yeah, so because that's true because they're already evaded anyway. So yeah. So we're gonna go five to three. Yeah. Minus five. All right. Well, you know, oh. I keep my I keep my bullet. <laughs> I keep my bullet. <laughs> and again, my my plus one wouldn't have mattered. So. It wouldn't have mattered exactly. We're we're looking at the positives here, which is really nice. Okay. Um. Enemies will stand... Oh, so we go to upkeep. Enemies stand up. I'll take the serpent. Do you want to take the small guy? Yeah. Perfect. And we do upkeep. Oh, that's a good card! Oh! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty Toast, you summoned it. Uh. You summoned it. All right. We are at three of nine doom. Oh, sorry. At the end of the round, flip one doom at Ancient Hall to its doom side... But uh, you may spend three resources to prevent that, Trish. If you would like to. So it's on your location. Yeah, Ancient Hall. Flip one of the clues on Ancient Hall to its doom side. Any investigator at Ancient Hall may spend three resources to cancel this. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the power of untabooed Dr. Milan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leo, what is your evil card? Please not an enemy. Oh, that's fine. Do not disengage from enemies or move. Test skip the tomb before to break out. Okay. That's fine. Sweet. Uh, what do you got, Trish? What's your evil card? One damage, everyone? Uh, yeah, so Leo and Trish, you guys each take one damage because you guys are poisoned. And Surge, right? And Surge, yeah. It's going to become something else. I'll take it. I won't put it on the doggo. <laughs> yeah, chat will love you for that. <laughs> ah, this one. Oh. Okay. Oh, this also has Surge. Um. Mm. So doom or one vengeance point. Um, for, yeah, unfortunately, we cannot help you with this because it's paranoid. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, feel yeah. free. Uh, you can monologue through it. Chats listen, and then the camera's on on you. Uh, there are not so many vengeance. Um, uh, there is the which one? Or the the brother the brother of Yig? Would it get stronger? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the brood of you gets. I say because I take a lot of clues. Let's let's put a doom on the location. Sure. I don't know. No, I, I mean I'm for it because also like we really can get we can afford three doom on a location before we get behind on that. So we basically have like three free doom, quote unquote. It's not really free, but you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What does that surge yeah, do? That, that upgraded deduction helped. Yes. Yeah. So I suffer the uh, mess, right? I guess. Yeah, yeah. Get real. Probably the magnifying glass is easy to lose here. Sweet. And then I grab. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this should be healed, by the way. That's not as easy. <laughs> yeah, this is tough. It's going to have to be the shoes, I think. Like, the shoes are so good, but, like, Pete is the shoes and a little bit more. And I need the gun to yeah. shoot. Uh, it sucks to lose because it, like, makes my number a little bit less uncomfortable. So what do I do? Just shuffle it into my deck? Okay, cool. Okay. Um, why don't... Uh, Trish, why don't you go first? Yeah, why don't you go first, Trish? All right. I will investigate again. So you um, have is there anything? Five to three. I will go just uh, like that for the first action. Okay. Nice. All right. And uh, let's go. Let's do one more. 
Uh, that's see. minus three, so this one will oh. fail. Right. Um. <laughs> We'll commit this one. Sure. Uh, so so now it's you're six to three. Six to three, yeah. Oh, and you get a free right. action. Should I explore? You could, yeah, you could. Uh, we also could advance the mythos too. I don't know if that's. Yeah, we could do it now. We could do it at the start of next turn. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. So, whatever you think. I don't know either. Actually. I mean, we could do it now. It might add more locations to the deck. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. The ruins are far more vast than even Alejandro had anticipated. Carvings in the walls and hieroglyphs etched in stone altars suggest the existence of a central chamber underground. Perhaps a hidden passageway will show you the way to this temple, the very heart of the temple ruins. Shuffle the set aside chamber of time location into the exploration deck. The Chamber of Time. Ah, oh, frick, I grabbed the clues. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you pass the strange glyphs in the walls, the runes groan and creak in protest. The carvings glow ominously. Years of deterioration have faded the pattern of these glyphs, and the surrounding stones seep with viscous pus. If only you had some way to restore the glyphs. Check your supplies. If any investigator has chalk, we do not. Uh... Place so we have vengeance one in the victory display. Okay, and uh, I will explore. Go for it. So you are looking for star or green diamond. Not this nope. guy. This guy. The only have to do him. Zoop. So it's three and uh, test three, right? Yeah. Testing four to three. Okay, I will go like that. Nice, okay. easy. Easy, easy. Easy. All right, um, why don't you go next? Unless you want me to go before you, because I could potentially try to get rid of your entombed if things go well for me. Does that sound cool? Yeah, sure, that works. All right, uh, we are going to evade this guy. We have six to three which beats the majority of the stuff in here. He now has Retaliate, but he does not have Alert. All right, so we'll evade him and I'll ping him for one. I'm just gonna leave him here for right now because I'm gonna shoot my shot. We have five to three. I'll go for that, I believe. Oh, there's the minus five again. Yeah. yeah. On the plus side though, we can use this here. Again, uh, so we'll go five to three. So now he has re retaliate. Uh, he's exhausted though, so he won't retaliate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, did you want to help me with this one? It makes me beat the minus three. If you don't, I could still go again, and I could like just rumble with this guy until the ends of the ends of time. Yeah. Let me just see the crime. Cool. Oh, I didn't read what our new objective was. Let me just quickly stop there, and uh, then we'll come back. Yeah. Sure. Whatever is inside this central chamber must be very important. Much care was taken to obscure its location. We can still explore. And only investigators in the Chamber of Time may spend the requisite number of clues as a group, which is going to be six. Uh, okay, we're going to take our shot, and we are now up three. So we have six to three. It is dead. Nice job. That's some victory, guys. So sorry I could not help you with your thing, but I appreciate the assistance with that scene of the crime. No, that seemed more important than that to kill that thing. Yeah. All right, you're up. You're good to go, Leo. All right, I'm going to go against it. It unfortunately has plus one because there's vengeance in the victory display. Yep. So I'm only at five to three. Five to three. Nice two damage. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Let's go again. Woo! Let's All go. Right. Get Perfect. this punk out of here. I'll try to do this. It's four to four. That seems like a bad test. I don't know if it's worth it to try that. Yeah, it is kind of... Can you maybe get, like... Would resources be good? Would a card be good? Yeah, I might do a resource instead, actually. Sweet. Cool. All right. Because right. I just I just don't want to run my head into that test. Yeah, definitely. And I can help you with it next turn. Okay, awesome. Can okay. we do, do that test for him? Sorry? Can we do that test for him? If yes, we, I, I can do that. Because if you're at the same location from him, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Upkeep? Alright, upkeep, yeah. Let's get some resources and some... Poopy. <laughs> Alright, we have four of nine. Sorry, five of nine, because there's one on this ancient hall. Uh, what do you got, Leo? What's your card? Yeah, perfect timing. Yeah. You're a snake. Oh. I hate when I do that. And I got... I'm going to do this at our location because we have soak and healing. Fair. So horror. Yeah, horror each and a doom on our location. Okay. <clears throat> I do have Faustian Bargain if resources help you. Ooh, I don't need them right now. Okay. But maybe in the future. Um, I mean, they could be good. There's a, I'm working with some good stuff here. My only concern is that I really want to find my peat cleaver and get that going. But I want to get you out of this. So I'm going to go first. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do this foot test. So we have six to four. You want me to give you a plus one? I have you handle this one. Uh, no, you keep that just in case you get a test that's for, like... For a foot test. test? Yeah. yeah he, he, don't move, he don't move fast. Yeah, get that guy out of here. Yeah, you can even give me the Entombed in the future if you draw another one. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, then I'm going to move in here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explore. I'll check the deck. Oh, Traxor, two months at the Golden Table. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime on us. By the way... If you are watching and you have not used your Twitch Prime on anybody on Twitch, we would love to have it. So consider using it on us. And then I get happy and I say your name and everyone's really pogged about it. Anyway, I'm looking for a star or a diamond. And I would love the diamond here. I'm entombed. <laughs> That's me. Those are my actions. Um, why don't you go next, Leo? Because you might even be able to look at the top two cards if you have a moment as well with your torches. Oh, oh yeah, you, know, you moved with me. You moved with me. Yeah, never mind. Yep. Uh, then why don't why doesn't who does it matter for you guys? Do either of you want to go before the other? Um, no, it's the same. Sure. All right, I will uh, explore then. Right. Sweet. Yeah, looking for diamond and star. That's star. Yeah. Star. Where? So that'll go over here, right where this guy, right there. Yeah. And they move. Yes. When you investigate Grand Chamber and do not succeed by at least two, before resolving any other effects from the skill test, flip one of the clues on Grand Chamber to its doom side. Let's see. So three clues here, right? Um, I can use Pilfer, but I'm only I'm four to two, right? Yep. And I will, I will get all, all three clues, right? Hmm. Yeah, and you can also, I believe Pilfer uses your foot instead, so you can use foot buffs to maybe get yourself yeah. a little bit higher, too. All right. Okay, I will do that, then I will spend four. Six, so you are now four to two with your foot. I will commit... Uh, oh, this one? Yep, yeah, five to two. And um, one more. Hmm. There is a minus four in this one. Yeah, there's a there's a minus five. So the one doesn't matter if I go minus five or minus three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think you're pretty comfortable at minus three. I mean, being okay, three, I will, uh, And if okay, we see a zero care. or a plus one here, it's just gravy. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that's just that's just goodness. Sweet. Uh, and I believe you still have uh, an action left. And you also get a resource from Dr. Milan. It's cool. It's yeah, cool. yeah, I got it. Yeah. What, what should, uh, I think I will draw a card because there's no clues, right? Uh, the, uh, the only, uh, just a little, Trish does, have, her weakness is an enemy. Um, just uh, to be aware of that. 
Uh, or, or should I explore how many locations uh, there are? There is one that we're looking for here. Yeah, there's the one that you're looking for here. Okay, I will go for it. Sure. Nope. Not that one. We're looking for triangle. Ah, sorry. Uh, I should put it here, right? Yeah, it's... Holy crap, you found it. What, what is this? Uh, yeah, it's here. down there. Yeah, and then it's three clues. One. And I am done. Sweet. So this location, uh, have... after you put Burial yeah. Port into play by exploring successfully, you must either draw two cards to the top of the encounter deck or place two Doom on Burial Chamber, a Burial Pit, or any combination thereof. So you have to make a choice. You can either place two Doom, draw two cards, or a card in a Doom. I think two cards, right? Because we are at six Doom? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, cards uh, seems... And then, like, if you draw an enemy, Leo could... Leo hasn't even gone yet, so Leo might be able to help you. Mm hmm all Not right. well, but maybe enough. <laughs> <laughs> Snake. Oh. And one more. And one more. Oh. <laughs> Double snake. Okay, we would love... I think, I think we would love to help him with that when we can, Leo. Uh, uh, yeah. Sh should I play shortcut and go back? Maybe save Leo one turn? To yeah, you could. Him? You definitely could. Um, the alternative, yeah, though, nice is that if you stay cause... here... Uh, you could potentially proc your ability somehow, but I think I think the shortcut's a pretty smart plan too. I think that's nice. Okay. All right. Um, so then, for my first action, I'm gonna move. Move see. camera over here. All right. Then I'm gonna take him for my second action. Sweet. Then I'm gonna hit him. Uh, he's still three to my five. I want to see. I don't really have anything I could commit, so I'm just going. Just chop. Nice. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. No. That was that was good. That was really nice, guys. This is uh, that was, there's some nice right. sequencing going on here. That's me. Um, but he's still up, right? Yeah, I, I wasn't able to kill him because I mm -hmm. didn't get to him. Yeah, but he is so like yeah. he'll he'll be fine. Leo is Leo's strong. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty sturdy. Um, upkeep phase, everybody. After the enemy attacks you, of course. Yep. So I take one of each. Nice. And again, no doggos damaged yet. Okay. <laughs> if only I still have my track shoes, eh, chat? All right, so we are at six, seven of nine for this. And Leo, what is your evil card? Deep dark? Okay. That's fine. What do you got, Trish? What's yours? Crypt chill? That's a little unfortunate. Because we'd hate to lose Dr. Milan here, but it might have to happen if you have no... I, I don't have anything. Cool. Um, what are you at right now? Uh, two. Uh, two to four. Oh, oh uh, that's nah, that's a losing yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I could, well, I could get you up. I, uh, I could get you to the one, sorry. but that's not really going to matter. Yeah. yeah. So I lose me now. It's fine. Yeah, he froze to death. It's really cold in here. Uh. All right, and then I get... You must either put a set-aside poison weakness into play or draw the top two cards in the counter deck. Hey, why don't you just give me more cards? <laughs> Okay, you suck. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Not a problem. <laughs> okay. I forgot how brutal this one can be. Yeah, it could be pretty. It could be pretty, pretty spicy. But luckily, we're like not to jinx us because I don't believe in that. But it's been going pretty nice for us right now. Up move, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, who wants to go first? I can try to punch this guy off me. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to commit overpower to it, so I'm up by uh, four. Because I really want this to hit. Uh, Minus two. Two locations have doom on them. So he is dead. He is dead. Goes away. That's one. I'm going to play... Um, I think are you are you good over there? Or do you yeah, yeah, back? I'm fine. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna dance with this guy for a bit and uh, catch up with you guys in the future. Yeah, I'm gonna play a second safeguard nice. and not go the go the other way with it. <laughs> and then uh, because I don't really need to move, I think I'm just gonna draw a card. Cool. I know Sounds that's good. usually not the best play, but yeah, but you you've drawn your uh, you only have one weakness left in your deck. Oh, but that's true, yeah. It is Dendromorphosis, so it will cause you to discard your machete, but hopefully you just don't draw it. Uh. 
All right, Trish, in memory of Bryn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, Bryn's cursed being the tree man, but that's just, <laughs> yeah, that's just life. Uh, Trish, what do you got going on? Okay, I will move and uh, investigate uh, things twice. Uh, these curses, uh, can someone help me uh, yeah. with these? Or... When we can, when we have a moment, we will. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to move I'm gonna move with you. Cool. Friends. Perfect. <laughs> Apparently, I covered so, you up, too. Yeah. <laughs> Five to three? Uh, sorry, no, four. Mm. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I don't have anything to to boost this, so I will I will go once. Oh, we got another token. If you fail, place one doom on your location. Oh, oh no, I put it back. Sorry. Yeah, if you draw, uh, we'll just draw again. We'll just go. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I don't know if you know, but if you right click, you'll draw multiple. Right tokens. click. Right. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, okay. One more. Uh. Oh my yeah. god. Okay. Well. That's good. Whoa. Sick. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. I do have a little bit of book help for you if you need it next time. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, that's thanks. right. You can't get another clue. You should do something else. Yeah, thank you. Dude. Yeah, because uh, of the sorry. deep dark. The deep dark, you can uh, only do it once. There goes my star. So I will draw a card, I think. Cool. Sounds good. Okay. okay. I'm done. Uh, I'm going to try to evade this fang of Yig. We have six to three. Get out of here. Take a damage, you frickin' nerd. Um, we are going to use this Entombed. We're going to try to get out of this. It's six to four. Sweet. Um, and then I'm going to move over here to be with my friends. You don't dis- Oh, that's right, I did it in the wrong order. Sure, man, bring him with me. I'll just do it again next turn. I made a mistake. I sequenced that wrong. I should have gone the other way. I mean, I would have taken an attack of opportunity. Come with me, brother. We will go until the ends of the earth together. Because first you have to... Um... Yeah. Okay, let me go to Avgate. Thanks, chat. Okay, um, uh, we go to upkeep. Yeah. And then we go to mythos phase. We have six, seven, eight of nine. Leo, what's your evil card? Snake. Oh, great. What do you got, Trish? So that's going to gain surge. Okay. Into this. You're testing four to two because there's no doom on your location. Um. <clears throat> I think I will uh, this twenty one or bust is, is good, but I, I think I have many resources, right? <clears throat> yeah. So I'm All right. like, Five right. to two. <clears throat> hey, nice job. Nice. And I get another snake. <laughs> oh my god. They're now friends. it's a party. Yeah, now it's a party. Amen. All right. Did the uh, Pete um, heal for her? Oh yeah, he's been healed for a while. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been okay for a very long time. <laughs> if I kill this guy, I do have evidence, so I could get a clue off this. Location. Oh yeah, that sounds sick. So, Dig. I'm going to go first. Go for um, it. Five to th five to three. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Five to three. Minus That's one. Minus. Okay. Yeah, there's He's no dead. team on your location, so this guy is dead. I will play evidence. Sweet. Get a clue. Clue for you. Oh, thank you. No problem. So that was two of my actions. Yeah, you have one left. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I can try to get one of these. Um, Curse of Yggdrasil. Nice. Wow. So it's a three, great. three willpower. Okay. Uh, it's two. It's two. Oh, that's one. Oh no, it's we randomly abandoned in the victor's play. I should read the. F I should read the freaking card, Justin. Uh, so I'm four to three. I'll do inspiring presence to be at five to three. Nice. 
Awesome. Nice. Hey. Bye bye. That's me. Thank you. <laughs> All right, yep. let let me go next. Uh, we're gonna try to evade this guy at six to three. Minus two is good. Sit down, brother. Hmm. Four cards. Okay, so we actually don't want to kill these guys. If we leave them out of the encounter deck on the shuffle, that is kind of nice. They will just kind of sit here, but they don't have Hunter. But that's like a future problem. So I am going to evade again, six to three. Get one damage because you evaded, or no? Oh uh, no, evading doesn't uh, provoke attacks of opportunity. Oh, sorry for this guy. No, I, I'm choosing not to deal the damage because I'm instead gonna move off of him. I'm gonna kick flip off of him, take B with you guys because I like you guys. Uh. Uh, and then I'm gonna play this drawing thin. Okay. And so I'm gonna, yeah, we'll sure investigate. Yeah. I think this was here before, right? I should discard the snake swords. Uh, no, I think you drew that this turn. You drew that this turn. Okay. It doesn't do much to you right now because of your mm -hmm. yeah. So I will go four to three. Four to three. You got it. Was that nice? So we can advance now. Uh, no, we need to be on the chamber of time. So you basically just right. got us some victory, which is really nice. So we just got to explore and find the chamber. All right, I will explore. Uh, that one does connect to this. It goes over here. Nice. So while there is an enemy in underground runes, it is considered to be in the victory display for the purposes of counting vengeance. After an enemy uh, in underground runes leaves play, place one doom on this location. Um, so of note, I believe there is... There are two... Locations and three treacheries in this deck. Okay, so I need to I need to do some torching. Unfortunately, we can only torch from the entryway. Oh crap! That's right. Yeah, but that's okay. Like I mean, like we can just face check them, right? Because like if we all yeah, explore... I got you handle this one. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we don't need to do it this turn, but like next turn we can start moving, right? Yes, I will investigate. Uh... Do we need more clues? Uh, no, we don't need more clues. All right. Should I explore again, I guess? Uh, you could. The only thing is there are three treachery cards, so you're very likely to draw one. But if that's not a worry for you, I think you can just go for it. Hmm. Okay, I will. Uh, I will draw one. I guess. Cool. Uh, can you do something to do, to do to explore better than me? I guess or no. Like, can you explore with? Uh, can you search the cards or anything? Or is or is always blind the uh, draw? It's always it's always blind right now. We have a way to fix it, but it's uh -huh. all the way up here. Okay, I will draw one. You found it. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, down here. Well, that's lucky. That is very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And you even and you have another safeguard me. you can use. And I'll move, use my other safeguard. Beautiful. Oh, I did this too soon. So after you enter... So after you enter Secret Passage, you must either take one horror and one damage or place one doom on Secret Passage. Uh, check your supplies. If you or an investigator at Secret Passage has rope, ignore this effect. We don't have rope, right? Yeah. Um, so so I, would, guys, I would take the horror and damage. So you got, and then you'll make the ch same choice, Leo. Cool. Getting a little saucy. A little Not saucy. A little <laughs> saucy. Okay, I believe that is everybody, so we can go to upkeep, right? And there are three clues here? Yes, there should be three clues here. How's a shrug? Oh, there's a, do there's a doggo. There's a doggo. That's a good doggo. Nice. Uh, I think, do you have another action, or I explored twice? You investigated and, and explored twice, so I think you're good. Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. So then we can go to upkeep. And then... <laughs> uh, just a good draw, chat. Just a good draw, that's all. 
All right, okay. so now you can discard your Snake Scourge. That thing's gone. All right, we go to seven, eight, nine. We advance the agenda. Oh, then we should put uh, Doom on Secret Passage. Uh, no, because Doom does not remove from locations in this scenario. Ah, uh, sorry. No, so you made the right choice. Just then, a sound thrums in the walls of the temple, a dull humming similar to that of a generator. Grooves in the walls and the ceiling flicker start to glow. It is though the temple is alive and it senses your presence. The strange statues and carvings you've seen coupled with the dim glow and the power coursing through the walls makes it clear that this temple is an Aztec in origin. In fact, it appears to be an even older, more ancient civilization altogether. You feel as though you are an intruder in a world you cannot begin to understand. Confirming your worst fears, a loud hiss and rattling echoes throughout the temple. Whatever you just woke up, it's not happy to see you. Spawn the set-aside Harbinger of Illusia at the location with the most doom. I think we should do that at the location that's farthest from us. <laughs> I agree with this. All right. Yeah. Um, the serpent creature emerges from the shadows with terrifying speed. It is bedecked in gilded feathers and wields a golden spear. The blade tip unravaged by time. The rattle at the end of the creature's tail produces a tremendous noise as the creature hunts you throughout the runes. This agenda gets plus one player doom threshold. And I agree, this last one's going to be tough to get. <laughs> we have a 25% chance of hitting it on the first go. Anyways, uh, what do you got? Leo, what's... Uh, oh, there's Leo. He's right here. <laughs> mm. What's the Doom Threshold? The new one? 12. So 15. 15 in total. So now we are at two? Yeah, we're at two currently. Two of 15. I also like those odds. I'm going to put it in the victory display. Okay. So we're trying not to build these things. Yeah. All right, what's your next card? Because that surges. Oh, sorry. No, it's all good. I forgot, not only do you get a Doom, you get a... Yeah. Great. Uh, each investigator takes poison, one takes damage, and that surges again. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Dog has got to take it this time. As long as you don't kill the dog, they're, they'll be okay. And that surges into this thing. <laughs> hey, this is what you're, uh, uh, you handle this one's for. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, hey. Give, give that to me. You, yeah, you want to take that? That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, no problem. All I'll right. just smoke this cigarette here. Yeah. Uh, we'll test uh, six to two. Minus one. We're golden. Thank you. Only th only three encounter cards. That's fine. Yeah, only three. I mean, we're going to potentially draw a bunch more. What do you got here, uh, Trish? What do you got? Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, a little, that's a little rough. That's a lot. That's a high... I mean, we could reasonably just ignore it. Um... It, it does have seven shroud. <laughs> wow. Okay, my card is... Hmm. This might seem a bit strange, but I'm going to burn the... The gun? That kind of makes sense. It's like a reload. Yeah, I think the gun can go. I think the gun's the worst here. Okay, so here's my... I want to run this by you guys. I think I am not going to join you guys. Because if I can avoid going into this look... Do we all need to be there? No. Only investigators. So if I don't join you guys, I don't have to move through Secret Passage. And that then, makes sense. So I, if I can avoid that as much as I can, that sounds kind of nice. Do you guys do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Cool. Of course. So why cool. don't you guys... And and just meet us at the other location. Yeah, and then my plan is I'll run interference with the Harbinger for as long as I can. So no, we need these clues right now or not? No, we can, we can just play the objective right now. Mm-hmm, okay. So, Which um, again, you said we had bad luck because there's only one, there's three treacheries in one location. Correct. I and I think uh, realistically we'd probably want Leo to investigate. Face plant him. 
Yeah. So sorry to explore to explore. Yeah, I agree with that. All right. Well, why don't you go first then, Leo? All right. I am gonna play a sl sled dog for free. And one less. Doggo. Okay. Let's see what happens. Twenty-five percent chance. Let's see it. Holy crap! Oh my goodness! Holy crap! <laughs> What are the chances? <laughs> Twenty-five All right. percent now. Rita could explore too. I actually no, I don't think I can explore because there's no location connected to mine. We have all other locations. All right, that's huge. So we can move this down here. All right. After it enters play, attach the set aside relic of ages asset to the chamber of time and place one doom on the chamber of time. So I will move in here because I explored. Also, some advice, if you either of you guys draw your I'm out of here's, hold those dearly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> those are oh, going to be call, very yeah. beneficial for the, the last part of this scenario. Okay, so... I think, I think I'm going to have to draw because I don't have any... I mean, I'm not going to get these clues, so... Yeah, yeah, go for it. I so honestly was ready? expecting you to do more explore tests. Okay. Huh. Uh, where's the relic card? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Forgot about that. This guy's here. You're still allowed to explore. Oh, I see. You didn't put a kappa on a sentence that should have kappa. <laughs> oh, but I guess I could have just eaten the, the cards too. No, no, that's fair. That actually is fair too. I'll take back my kappa, and I believe it. Magus Mandrake, how's it going? Uh, Trish, why don't you go next? Why don't you go here? Go next and advance, or what do we? We need one more. We need I one more. Have it, right? Yeah. Leo has it. So Leo, so oh, with you Leo, actually, yeah. Speed, so if you right? go there, you guys can do this. The only thing is, this location does have victory too, so it depends on how much we want this victory. How hard do you want to work on that? Uh, so if we advance now, we have to like run out, run out or something. Yes, yeah, pretty much. But we could spend some time trying to get clues because it's not a must advance; it's a may advance. And you will be fine with these enemies there. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing. I'm I'm having the time of my life uh. out here. <laughs> okay, so I will move for one. Um... So I'm like four, two, four, two. That's, that's going to be difficult. Yeah, you're four all, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go four. I need, I need enemies to evade, and then I will, I will discover clues. I have cards for that. Here, I can give you plus one. OK, so I'm going for five to four. Oh, yeah. oh that felt good. <laughs> yeah, what can we do, right? What can you do about that? Like it. Yeah, I was looking at the counter over there. It looks like your first game went really well, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think most of those were me as well. I drew a bunch of them. <laughs> okay, I will investigate once more, uh, I think. Four to four. I play Edge of the Earth and I keep drawing Frost Token and Auto Fail. It's been like my specialty. <laughs> oh, wow. I did not expect oh. that, TBH. That's awesome. Sweet. It includes the hard way. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to play these track shoes. Um, I'm going to play these bandages. I'm going to move into this location. And we are going to test out these track shoes. I'm going to make it a five, which is going to give me two resources. So we're going to test six to five. Now, this, I was going to say, this could bite me in the ass if I draw this card. But then you draw the minus one and you look like a pro. <laughs> so uh, never punished. Never punished. Nice. Okay. Um, this guy slithers towards me. And then we go to... Up 
upkeep phase. Upkeep. All right, so we are at, don't you have to take the extra move? Oh, I guess I have to. So I guess I'll just move back here. So then this guy moves up there. Thank you, butthead. Yeah. I mean, this is the better location to be on anyway. Okay. Um, we are at one, two, three, four of 15 doom. What is your card, Leo? An enemy would be nice. Hmm, less so now. <laughs> now that you're... Oh, that surges because you're poisoned. Six, one whore. It's always funny to me when you say thank you, Butthead. Yeah, Travis loves that your username is Butthead, too. And whenever I talk about you, <laughs> he's like, just calling this guy Butthead. I think I'm going to place it here since you can kind of eat the horror with Leo. Sa I, I was mean, uh, hoping you'd do that, but I could not help because yeah. it was peril. But that was what I was yeah. hoping you'd do. All right. Uh, what do you have, Trish? Okay. Mm. That's going to take it, slow it down a little bit. Yeah. I'm stuck. <laughs> uh. Help. Um, uh. Okay. So... Here's the question for us. We have a ton of time, so this victory is very doable. Are we going to go for it? Like, do we want to go for it, or do we want to just, like, get out? What do you guys think is best? I think we go for it, because then we'll, we might slowly draw our um, out of here. Sure, we sounds can just good. Leave anyway. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, okay, okay let's go for it. Um, and then while you're here, I, I, mean, I actually suppose that actually this Curse of Yig is now really tough. Yig will be pissed. It is true. We will have one, two, three, four vengeance from this. Oh, so it's a six willpower now? Uh, no, currently it's just four. Currently it's four. Okay. But, yeah, so that's the thing. We get the victory, but it also means that Yig is going to be super pissed at us. Oh, I gotcha, because it's a victory and vengeance. Yep, yeah. gotcha. So right now for victory, we're looking at one, uh, sorry, we're looking at one, two, three. That puts us up to five. That is pretty juicy. I think we should go for it. I'm, I'm fat. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm good for that. Yeah. It's All right. I go first? Yeah, go for it. So I will play this. I will investigate. Yep. Okay. Eureka, nice. Some five to four. Um, five to four. Mm -hmm. And we only get one investigate this round. Uh, only one successful investigate. Okay. Yeah, we can investigate multiple times still. So I failed? Yep. Um... I wish I had enemies here so I can evade him and yeah. <laughs> get some clues for free. But uh... I don't know. I ha have some like the in the shadows uh, card and some other cards, and I don't know if, if I should commit them or just keep them uh, if something bad happens in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Uh, do you want to draw cards, maybe, uh, Leo? I have, have a deep knowledge. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure, I can. Sick. Okay, I will play that. All right, two curse tokens. We're at two in the bag right now. And you get to divvy out the cards as you see fit. Investigators' location draw combined three cards. At how many do you want? On three? Um... Yeah, I mean, however many you're willing to give me, I mean, with you being an investigator, I don't know how much help I'll be with the cards, but I'll take as many as you want to give me. Okay, I will take one. Okay. Nice. And I'll take two. Sweet. Cool. Teamwork. Yeah. And uh, I will investigate again. Um... Oh. 
that? That is going to be a minus three. Minus four, okay. sorry. I'm done. Yeah, so our tokens are notably getting harder, too. So I feel like if we start to feel like we're, we're just, like, slapping against this wall, we might as well try to pull the trigger. But right now, I think we still have a ton of time. Like, a ton of time. Um, Leo, why don't you go next? Because I'm just going to be zipping around again. Okay. I think I might play um, Soothing Melody. Oh, nice. So, Trish, if you want to heal a physical, I'm going to heal a horror. Sweet. Perfect. I get to draw a card. Don't really think I'm going to be a beneficial on getting clues, so I think I'm going to play um, just Calling in Favors. Oh, heal doggo, grab new doggo. That's hopefully the plan, so top nine. Let's see. Yep, there's a doggo. Nice. I guess hypothetically I could just put this into my hand. And, yeah, and then just take the damage off of this yeah, one. Yeah, it all goes out in the same... Comes out and we all know they're the same sort of dog. It's like a, it's an eldritch dog. It comes from the same... <laughs> they're all a hive mind dog. <laughs> <laughs> and from the last action. Oh, because with, with this one... Reduce the cost. Okay, since it costs the same, yep, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have a gain resource. Cool. All right, that's me. All right, I am going to move into this location. And then we're going to... Oh, no, sorry, I can't move. I have to do good through this tunnel I'm in first. All right, we got seven to four. Uh, mm. Sure. It does All not right. want us to get these clues. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is going to reduce by one, so this is now seven to three, but I'm again, I'm gonna draw and thin this and get it turned into resources instead. So we seven now have five. seven to five. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I'm okay with this Harbinger, like, turning me into, into pulp. That's just the <laughs> reality of the situation. But anyway, we're gonna go seven to two. Sweet. Come on, brother. Come fight me. That's like your Hodor right now. Yeah. Ugh. One, two, one, two. Uh, I'm going to heal one of that with bandages. Okay. Um, upkeep, everybody. And all those things that are... And around oh, no! <laughs> okay, I think it's end of plans. <laughs> oh, man. That's rough. That is one of the roughest, in my opinion, weakness cards. Like, yeah, it's pretty rough. Cards. I hate when I draw that every time. Okay. I I can take care of that so easily. It'll make your head spin. Sounds sick. All right. Well, let's uh go into Mythos phase and see what else this might turn into. Uh, what do you got? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Oh, man. I think I have to go to the Doom this time. Sounds good. And that's going to surge into... I mean, I kind of want you to draw an enemy for Trish. Or just damage for you guys also is fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's a little damage between friends, you know? Yeah, exactly. And then that surges Where's into... The... An enemy. Okay, Trish hey! can maybe do something. Oh. Trish can maybe do something. Trish, yeah, what yeah. do you got? Okay. It's back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another one. Oh, no. Uh, Man, we're getting kind of dunked on. <laughs> we are getting kind of dunked on. That, that hoods into that other enemy. Man, that's rough. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, like, if you guys can, like, get the clues and, like, maybe trigger the thing. I know, I don't think you guys can probably get five clues this turn, but. Because she only gets to do that once per round because she's not broken, like. Yeah. Um, what's the Yeah, space? this is when you yeah, need turkey. Yeah. Amen. Should we get, uh, uh, I think I will get three, maybe. Yeah, I think definitely you go first because then. Um... Yeah, so. <clears throat> 
just taking if I play this one, I can uh, uh, break and enter. Evade. Yep. I can evade the uh, Leo's uh, enemy, right? Yeah, yeah. If you succeed by two or more, yeah, you will. Okay, so I will do that then. So, so I'm um, eight. Eight to four. Okay, I will play something. Um, oh my god! Now I don't have something there to commit. Uh, Here I can commit. Ah, uh, so this is book, book, right? Yeah, you can only commit with a uh, book for this one. Books, right? Okay. Yeah. Can you? Can you help? Yeah, I have inspiring presence. Perfect. Nice. Good dog. I can heal my doggo. Oh no. Oh, we just we passed, didn't we? Well, you, you guys passed, yeah. but you don't get the free evade. Okay. That's fine. I still heal my doggo. Good doggo. Balance Spreen, how's it going? So you do get. Would you like to discover an additional clue or evade an enemy at your location? This enemy is ah. going to be toast. I, I, you don't have to worry about evading it. I think the clue is more important. If I evade him, <coughs> I can play another card then. Uh, that would get me two clues. Oh. Hopefully. Oh, then yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, try that. Uh, Go for that. Go for that. I think that sounds good. Like, I'm in a pickle, but I definitely could imagine myself in a worse situation. So I'm doing okay. Yeah, because also if you evade him, I can come up and help you too. Okay, so I will evade him, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. And I will play uh, <coughs> eavesdrop. Nice. Let's hear what this man has. This little snake man has to say. So it costs one. So I'm four to two. Four right to two. against his evade. Right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now I will. Five to two. So, uh, yeah. I don't think we need this now, right? No, no, I think we're good for one. Um, I, I, can give you one I could give you one six to two. Uh, six to two, I don't know. I have uh, my signature card. Should I commit this or it's good? Mm. Uh, no, six nah. to two, I think six to two beats a good chunk. There's only one token in there that's bad now. Well, two, including the auto fail. I think if you're six to two, that's pretty nice. Yeah, if he if he if he helps me, I am six to two. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and you okay. helped him, right? Yeah, I helped him. I, I right. gave him. Uh, yeah, I think six to two yep. is pretty nice. Give him a soothing melody. Uh oh, four to two. <laughs> so I did another one, right? Yeah. 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 Right click. Yep. <laughs> ah, Let's go. Nice. Two clues for you. All right, two of left there. Two left there. We can do this. So I have one more. Uh... Unfortunately, I'm out of help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, um, I will just go four to uh, four to four, right? Okay, let's go. Nope. No, like that's, that. a that's a minus one yeah. for each location okay. with Doom on them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go first, Leo, because I feel, still think you being there to help Trish is more important than me. Even though it looks like I'm in a pickle. I understand it looks like I'm in a pickle, and I am technically kind of in a pickle, but... <laughs> okay, what do we got here? If it, makes, if it makes your decision different, I do have a third sled dog in my hand. That I could play for free and then come up and... Oh, uh, no, because you can't... That's... You don't have the slots for it right now, right? Oh, that's right. I forgot he doesn't have charisma. Don't okay. worry. We'll, we'll, we're getting charisma this time, and then he's going to be the goodest boy that's ever existed. <laughs> okay. Give me this slip away. So we're going to go nine to three for these hoods. Minus four is five, right? One, two, three, four. So I do still succeed by two, so he will not ready this turn. I'm gonna put him upside down just so we can all remember that. He's going to attack me for one and one because, you know, he's a fair card. But he does not ready this turn. Next, we're gonna to try to evade this guy. Yeah, I'm looking at the signature right now, being like, I think this is going to just help me with this Harbinger of Illusia. So we have nine to three here. Nine to three. 
Sweet. So we'll put a resource on that. Oopsie, grabbed the wrong thing. Uh, and then for my final action, Yeah, we're going to uh, evade this guy at 7 to 2. Sweet. And we're going to kick flip off, and we're going to spin in the air while we go. <laughs> into this I like location. the visual. <laughs> nice. Um, and I think we're going to track shoes, and I'm going to... Gain two resources to ensure I can continue to play things I might draw. I mean, now that hoods are out of my deck, I'll just draw a card, actually. I think it's better to draw a card. And that card's garbage, but that's okay. Uh, and then we'll test this. We have a seven to five. Sweet. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Leo, you're good to go. So I think I'm going to engage this guy. Sweet. I guess it'll stand him up, but we know he's unengaged. Yes. I mean, he's exhausted. Yeah, yeah I'll just um, even exhaust him for people at home so they'll know. Just to make sure this hits, I'm committing an overpower. Sweet. And a vicious blow. Oh, let's go. Yeah, because that, that more than covered what my adding was. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're good. Dead guy. Bye. So that was two actions. And, uh... I will draw a card. Awesome. Okay. Oh, Dendromorphosis. Cool. You know, at least you spent your time... You use your machete a good chunk of time. And that goes back into my hand, right? It doesn't get discarded. Oh, yeah. I think the dog... If the dog was attacked, then they could have saved the engage. But these doggos aren't here to attack. They're here to love and kiss. They don't know violence. <laughs> no, the sled dogs don't know violence, guys. Why are you putting violence on these cute <laughs> little dogs? Anyways, these things stand up. And then we go to upkeep. So, so do I lose my machete? Because it doesn't say that it's going to get returned to your hand. Yeah, machete's gone. Oh, cool. Oh. All right, so we have three, four, five, six, seven of 15. Two clues left. I think we might be able to, depending on what we draw, we might be able to go to the Let next phase this turn. All right, Leo, what is your evil card? Oh, sorry, let me upkeep. I forgot to Of do course. That. Oh, no, I did. That was Endermorphosis. My, my fault. No, that was my card I drew at the end of my turn. Got all conf got all discombobulated. Okay. It is Entombed. Cool. Okay. Well, I'll be working on that. Ooh, this will kill yep. you if you fail. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I am at four. Four to three. Um Unfortunately, I have no help. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, right? Eight to three seems good. Yeah, eight to three seems <laughs> good. Nice. Okay. okay. That's good. Okay. That made me scared. I think we, we got I think we have to advance this turn, even if you don't get the clues, because maybe you can get the clues. I will get them. I will get them soon. Perfect. <clears throat> I drew this thing. You think I'm scared of you? Uh, I mean, I kind of am. I have seven to two right now. That was very spooky. I mean, I'm scared of what you can do to my friend Trish. All right, Trish, why don't you start us off? All right, so Intel I'm playing report. Intel Report for four clues, right? So yep. To discover two clues. Nice. Do the advance now. Oh my god, there was one hidden there. There was one remaining. What? <laughs> they were oh. stacked together. Ah. I can't give you a plus No, two. but let's do the math. Let's I, do the math. I, I, I think you put a dooms at some point uh, under this one. It yes. It yeah, you're right. Added. Because you've gotten, yeah, you've gotten more than that, Clues. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, do you guys want to advance? I guess. Cool. Why yeah. don't you get rid of uh, six of your Clues? Okay. So... The relic comes with power and throbs in your hands. Energy from the device seeps into the corridors of the runes and the structure of the temple shifts. Choose an investigator in the Chamber of Time to take control of the Relic of Ages. 
I'm going to wager we kind of probably want to give that to Leo, just because if he draws a Crypt Trill, it's not going to hurt him that bad. Do you guys, you guys for that? Sounds good. Cool. All right, move the placement of each location to form a straight line with the Chamber of Time on the left and the entryway on the right. Each other location is placed from left to right in between these two locations in order of how much doom is on them, from lowest to highest. Until the end of the scenario, ignore all location connections. Instead, they're connected from left to right. So that's going to just take us some time to set up, but let's just quickly get this on the road. Okay. So you guys are on the left over here. And this one is on the right. And then we go in order of most doom. So this one and these two, and then this one are over here. And then we have these two have doom on them. So we want to put this one right in the middle probably. Yeah. Um, so we can move this over, we can do that. Put this one here. Leo, you That's haven't found your... Uh... I have not, My, I'm out of here, unfortunately, no. Mm. That's why I've been drawn. I can move with other people and I also have sled dogs, so I can move quite a bit on my turn. Uh, unfortunately not, because it's entomb entombed, you can't move. That's the only downside. Oh, yeah, so I'd have to break it first. Yep. Cool. Okay, so I think I actually need to go... We need to put mine adjacent to these guys because i got to move in and evade those two. And then we do like this. Isn't it lowest doom on the left? From lowest to highest, my mistake. Okay. Oh, okay, that does change things. Thank you. For some reason, I thought it was the other way. All right, so we can put, like, these guys over here. And then we have these guys. And we can, like, put... I mean, we can put these guys here. That actually kind of makes this a little bit spicier. Okay. So we have these dumb guys here that could, will end up likely being a problem but I could probably clear a path for you through them. Okay, but Trish, so, you have two I, actions left. I kind of resigned, but do you need help? I think your survival is might be more important. So if you just resign, I mean, you could do um, a foot test on this entombed and then go. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to commit, so four on four. Another? Yeah. Another one. All right, well, <laughs> see you later, Pixel. So oh. we place one Doom? Oh, sorry, yeah, uh, actually, and also you, you should, uh, in instead of doing that, because actually like that, no, Dice Gods is right, you want to resign on a non-victory location, so... You should have moved here. I gave bad advice. You really should have moved uh, okay. here and then resigned. So I would have done that instead. Okay, Even though so like, we, we technically move. saw it, I did give bad advice. So that's on me, not on uh, that. Pixelated, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Magma, J-Robs, Athenian, 8B90, Kalinos. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Thank you so much, Pixel. That means the world to me. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking, I'm Leo. I'm up. It's nice to... I'm glad you got out okay, Trish. So what you can do <laughs> is you can start kind of thinking of upgrade ideas. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you'll get upgraded. So we have about like 5 XP, you said? Yeah, it's going to be around there assuming things don't somehow get worse. If Leo doesn't die on a victory location, we're going to be okay. Oh, that's a good point. I wonder yeah, if I should have spent one of my clues. Don't yeah, it's okay. Anyway. I think it's fine. I think it should be. I don't. I, I think you're getting out of here in one piece. Okay. Yep. So here's what I'm thinking. I can move in here. I can evade these two guys, and then maybe you can entombed, and then like move out right with your dogs. Yeah. My hope is if I could pass entombed, I could move here and then move through it with my dogs. Yes, yeah. exactly. 
Yep. Okay, we'll move here. Hello, friends. I remember you from the past. Um, we're going to evade this guy at 7 to 3. Sweet. How much dances do we have on the victor display? One? One, two, three, four. We have no no, sorry, this is only end of the game. We have we have two, we have two in the victor display. So two. So they don't they don't have slash one evade, right? From the act uh, from the act card. Oh read the card. Yeah, sorry. no, they don't. <laughs> Thank you for that. No, right now we're still good. Right now we're still okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to go 7-3 to three against this guy here for my last action. Sweet. Um, I'm going to assume you're going to be okay, and I'm going to kickflip into this location. Okay. All right, Leo. Um, I'm going to commit a sled dog and a vicious blow to this entomb to hopefully get me up at least plus two, because... Oh, the dog. <laughs> Poor dog. Okay. Poor dog. Let's go. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Nice. I'm just curious how high. Well, it was not in my top three, so. <laughs> I would have been drawing for a while, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, because then you get a shuffle and maybe you'll be on top. Yep. Yep, and I did that again wrong. Sorry. I mean, you just saw Rita doing flips, so you thought, hey, I want to try that. <laughs> yeah, it seemed cool. You're like, okay. oh, yeah, that seems pretty poggy. All right. So I'm a, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna, nice move two and then move an additional one. So I'm gonna move three total. Hello, friend. Uh, after you enter the secret passage, you have to. Yes, you will still two. need to take a damage and a horror. Place one doom on secret passage. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, doggos. Okay, these guys stand up. This guy stands up. These guys move in here. All right, if you draw a, uh, I'm out of here on your t top card here, this would be really sick. So let's just hope to God, believe in the heart of the cards, because it's upkeep time. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of 15. What's your evil card? It is. Everything's blank. And it oh, surges right because um, Sorry, poison. one thing as well, um, oh, just so you know. Sorry. Um, when you took your damage from this secret passage, I'm like 99% sure you could have put it on Dendromorphosis, which would have destroyed it. Oh, yes. That's a good call. Yeah. Right, okay Chad, I'm not crazy because it's in your, your play area. You can't put damage on it. Yes, you can. Thumbs up from chat. Yes, do that instead of the doggo. Thank you. Yeah, like yeah, I said, that's... I was like 99% sure. That's big brain time. Okay. It is big brain so time. I got Snake Scourge, which surges because I'm poisoned. Yeah, into this brood of yig. Brood. All right, and then I draw this. Uh, bandages. Thank you for doing your job. Uh, and Actually, you know what? I think I can probably lose the drawing thin here. Yeah. Okay. I can do it. <laughs> Let's think about this. Do we... I mean, I, I can get out this turn, but then that leaves you to the wolves, and we got to get you out. Your best bet is to probably come with me, right? Yeah, I was actually wondering if I just take the attack of opportunity. Because if I move... Ex well, I would take attack of opportunity for each time I move. It doesn't, like, do a mass move with the dogs. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, like, with your safeguard, you can follow me out. So if I go first, you can get even closer with that. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a really smart. Yep, I like that. All right. Um, I'm going to move in here for my first action. All right, I'm going to go with you. I am going to track shoes. You would make take one. Okay, no, it's just one attack of opportunity. Because it is one move action, and that move action is move X times. Okay, with the dogs. Yeah, That's thanks, chat. Okay, we're going to try I, this and I thing. Do not, and I do not take attack from safeguard. We, we figured that out. Yeah, because that's not, that's not even designated with the move keyword. That's true. Okay. All right, so we have 
Uh, five, six, seven to three. I'm gonna go eight to three because I would like to pass this. Do we have a curse token in the bag? We do. Put me up another one. So this just like beats everything but auto fail. Wow. So what? <laughs> wow. Okay, I mean, that's fine. It, it was just a little bit cheeky. It was just a little bit cheeky. It would have gotten him even closer. So the alert guy hit you? Uh, no, oh, because no. that was part of no, my no, uh, no. track shoes. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. Okay, we're going to try to evade Big Papa Pump over here, the Harbinger of Elysia, because <laughs> he hits more than God himself. He would also only fall into that location technically, so he would be engaged with all the monsters. For safeguard? I think upgraded safeguard, he's correct. But I think for the non-upgraded, I think I move after you. Yeah, you move after me. So I, I get the monsters first. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you you came with me into this location, right? Yep, yeah. yep. Okay. We have... Yeah, but with the shoes? But he has... Um... Oh, yeah, no, you're right. You're right, Butthead. Because probably the sequence scene is after you move. After you move, but then he can do this because after I move? If you ran away? Because he has two safeguards. Could he then follow me on the first one before the track shoes go? And then he can join me on the second one with the track shoes? Is that how that would work? Or would the track shoes happen before he even has a chance to safeguard? This is interesting, I'm... Track shoes test would happen before the safeguard. Without engaging. Oh, good, Paul. No, yeah, you're right, you're right. He would just come in and he would grab the enemies and he'd be in a worse... So the game actually saved us there. Good call. The game actually saved our life. Anyways, we're gonna try to evade this guy. We have seven to three. Um, I am gonna go eight to three. Nice. All right, so we're going to burn. The Harbinger can die. Uh, well, he doesn't die. He just goes like this. Uh, and then I'm going to use my ability to kick flip off of him if you would like to come with me. Oh, yes, very much so. That fail was big mind tech. It was. It was saving our freaking ass. Uh. Okay, give me this uh, manual dex in my hand. Okay. Now over here, I suppose our plan is just evade this brood of Yig at seven to two. And you go out next turn, right? Yes. Nice. All right, Leo, that's me. So resign does not take attacks of opportunity, right? Yeah, you if you wanted to get out this turn, you could. I, I'm pretty confident I can get out on my own. Because I unfortunately have no way of attacking this brood with um Snake Snake Scourge. Because yeah. my sled dogs are blank, basically. No, no, but no, I am assets. Aren't items, yeah, they're still there. All the items. Yeah. Well I can stay around and help you then to make sure you don't get dogpiled on. No, I think you just you just get out of here, you'll be fine. I'll, sure. I'll, I'll be fine on my own. I, I have the utmost faith in myself. Okay, well, I'm going to basically we. move. I'll take the, the hit. And I'll resign. So sick. You drop your clue on this location. Perfect. And that wasn't a bad location to... to exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that was the starting one. Okay, cool. Yeah, and also, like, what Butthead's saying, you stay... I don't think you... I think you not drawing an additional encounter card is actually going to be beneficial. True. Okay, uh, I'll go to upkeep. We will go yeah, yeah. five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten of fifteen, and my evil card is probably just a this. Sure. Uh, we're testing seven to three. <laughs> So I'll take two damage, and we'll put a Doom on my location. Sweet. Okay, 
Well, I will attempt to evade this guy. We have seven to two, which beats everything. There's a curse token in the cup. We'll put this on here. So we'll go nine to two, just to affect that curse token. Nice. So you move? Yeah, we'll evade him. I'll move to this location, and then I will evade as my second action. Just resign? Yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah, resign. That's what I meant. Get uh -oh. back in here, Hoods. Thank you. Someone wrote <laughs> evade in chat, and my mind gets flooded if I'm trying to say something and speak at the same time. Nice job, guys. We well resigned. done. Yeah. It was perfect. Uh, if an investigator uh, resigned with a relic of ages under their control, as soon as you cross the threshold of the entryway, something inside the temple begins to change. The floor of the temple stops shaking, and the dull humming in the walls goes quiet. Without the relic in its chamber, the runes appear to be sleeping once more. You still have no idea what the object is or what its purpose may be, but you dare not tarry any longer to find out. Resolution 1. Man, this is... So remember what I said in the review, guys, where I said, like, I have this dream that um, Ethereal Slip will work and do something? I still don't have any faith in this card. <laughs> Like, this was, like, the moment, but I had to keep someone else out. Um, I think just... I don't know. Ethereal Slip, it's still just... if Like, because I want to play it, and I, I picture the time... Like, I picture the times where it is good, but it just, like, never happens. It's kind of cooler than it is useful. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Resolution 1, and let's do some stuff. Ah. <sighs> So, in your campaign log, record the investigators were covered, the Relic of Ages. One of us must put it in their deck. None of us want to. <laughs> I think flavor-wise it makes sense in, in Trish, but... But I'm fine with having it in Leo. Sure, yeah, we'll give it to Leo. You are the flex, so it's probably best with you, right? Because you can use it for book or fist or whatever you need to do. True, yeah. Uh, if the Harbinger is still in play, the Harbinger is still alive, baby. Yeah, it's an unexpected courage at plus one and it's worse. worse. Alive, baby. Uh, Yig's Fury, we get one, two... Uh, three, four. I believe that's all we get. Yeah, four. So we're going to be at six. Which isn't too bad. Uh, and then we get victory X. So that is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five victory. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is this your best round of this scenario, perhaps? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one of the... I did one recently with Silas and uh, Jenny that went very well, but this one went very well. Your Trish, especially in that early game, was fantastic. Like, did all your your clue pickup rate was really good. All right. Yeah, help us be able to put Doom on and not have to worry too bad, because we were kind of ahead of the curve. Yeah, all right. Too. Yeah. Uh, we, have to, we have an interlude we got to do. Uh, if the investigators recover the Relic of Ages, read Expedition Ends 1. All right, I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to go right to the juicy stuff. We must decide. It belongs in a museum. Alejandro and the museum staff will be able to study it and learn more about its purpose. It's too dangerous to be on display. We should keep it hidden and safe until we know more about it. What do we want to do? Do we want to give it to Alejandro or do we want to keep the relic safe? No, nah, I'm not all about, about Alejandro. All right. Yeah, I, I think keep so. it safe. <laughs> All right, Expedition Ends 3. Uh, recording your campaign log, we gave the relic to Harlan. And then Alejandro, research on his own. All right, Expedition Ends 4. Scenario 3, Threads of Fate. Awesome. So you guys can go and start looking at what you're going to do for your upgrades in your deck. We do it in client, so you can just do it up here in the Upgrade Your Cards. You might need, you'll need me to make um, copies for you. So when you know the cards you want, just let me know. But I want to just also quickly say, as I close out this video, huge thank you 
to our patrons. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you, YouTube, for both supporting the channel as well through the Patreon. It means the world to me. And I really love these patron game days and being able to play with you guys. And uh, this one went, we, we did fantastic. We did really good. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys. If you want to join the Patreon, if you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch, you know where to go. On Twitch, I actually, there's nowhere for you to go. I need to add a button for it. But um, thanks for watching. In YouTube, down in the description. Uh, have a good one. And as always, GG's.